No Instagram, no parties, no rolling down the windows of the car, and don't feed the gremlins after midnight. We may be joking about the gremlins, but the rest of those rules are all standard for Tiffany Trump. No white after Labor Day may sound like a fashion faux pas, but for Tiffany Trump, it could be a political statement. The first family has to follow some very strict rules, so it's no surprise that a few of these rules have been broken by Donald's youngest daughter, Tiffany. At age 20, 27, the law school graduate has had to clean up her rich kids of Instagram persona in favor of a family-friendly, Trump-approved image, and has made a few mistakes along the way. She doesn't live in the White House. When her father was first elected, Tiffany was finishing her law degree. Despite the Georgetown Law Campus being a mere 1.5 miles from the White House, Tiffany, who was 24 at the time, did not live with her family. In order to keep a low profile, Tiffany visited the White House every few weeks and lived at her own place to finish her degree. After Tiffany graduated in 2016, she still didn't make the move to live with her family. At age 27, it's no surprise that Tiffany wants to live in independently, especially when she leads a jet-setting lifestyle. Her older siblings, Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric also live in their own homes with their families, occasionally staying at the White House where Donald, wife Melania, and the family's youngest son, Baron, live. She's insta-famous. With the rise of social media, it has been expected of the first family to discontinue using their personal pages during their presidential term. When Barack Obama was elected, he was given his own official account, at POTUS44, which archived his tweets post-term. After his second term, Obama returned to using his personal account, at Barack Obama. Unlike Obama or even some of her siblings, Tiffany has continued to use her own account. Rather than post only business related content, though, Tiffany has continued to post personal pics. Before her father was running a presidential campaign, Tiffany was running with the Rich Kids of Instagram, a group of up-and-coming socialites whose designer lives were featured on Instagram and Snapchat, where they're better known as the Snap Pack. The group, which includes fashion designer Andrew Warren, fashion influencer and son of Magic Johnson, E.J. Johnson, fashion designer Roberto Cavalli's son, Robert Cavalli, and Paris Paris Hilton's little brother Baron, to name a few. This worldwide club of the most elite heirs and heiresses have no shortage of content. From private jets and luxury vacations to driving Bugattis to elite clubs, the hashtag RKOI lives large. Tiffany, along with the hashtag RKOI members, have become notorious on Instagram for their elite lifestyle. She doesn't have an official White House approved page. Tiffany does have an Instagram page, but it is not an official White House page. Like most of her siblings, Tiffany kept her personal Instagram and Twitter rather than give up her personal page for an official one. Tiffany did refrain from posting any hashtag RKOI worthy content from 2016 to 2018, as according to the New York Times' Katie Rosman, Tiffany was not allowed to hang out with Snappack during her father's campaign to ensure his family maintained a pristine campaign image. In 2018, though, Tiffany was back to old habits, reuniting with her RKOI friends and the Snap Pack. Tiffany was spotted on Andrew Warren's Instagram and in photos of her reunion with the Snap Pack as they celebrated her 25th birthday. She drives herself. As George W. Bush first divulged in an interview on Jay Leno, one of the most annoying parts of being president is that current and past presidential candidates are not allowed to drive themselves on public roads. This regulation usually also extends to chauffeuring the first family around, something Tiffany is not a fan of. Tiffany has been spotted riding with her own Secret Service detail, but has also been photographed getting in the driver's seat mostly to run personal errands or on her way to classes back when she was still in law school. Another rule, the presidential family is not allowed to open car windows or the windows of any White House rooms as a safety precaution. Tiffany claims that one of the reasons she still drives herself is not only for a sense of independence, but nostalgia too. As a child, she and her mother, Marla Maples, bonded over singing in the car. I guess there'll be no wind in her hair as Tiffany runs her errands. She isn't part of the Trump administration. 
Unlike Tiffany's older siblings, who are all involved in their father's campaign, Tiffany has yet to join the Trump administration. Although members of the first family are discouraged from holding any role in the presidential administration, Donald's two eldest sons, Donald Jr. and Eric, both co-lead the Trump organization. So what does that mean? As John Bach explains, this whole thing is about providing policy and legislative recommendations for the new administration through Donald Trump Jr. His eldest daughter Ivanka and her husband Jared are official advisors to the president. When Tiffany graduated from law school in May, Donald congratulated her via Twitter, saying, Great student, great school. Just what I need is a lawyer in the family. Proud of you, Tiff. A White House official also told CNN Trump invited his daughter to the White House shortly after to congratulate her in person. Many have speculated that Tiffany could soon join Trump's roster, becoming a lawyer he can finally trust after firing federal prosecutor Jeffrey S. Berman. With a turnover rate of 91% among Trump's A-team staff, perhaps an administration position is in Tiffany's future. Wearing white not only a fashion faux pas after Labor Day, Tiffany wore a white dress during her father's State of the Union address in February of 2019. Many of the Democratic women also wore white, with some of the Democratic men wearing white ribbons in commemoration of the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment's passing, the amendment which allowed women the right to vote. The white ensemble was reportedly a visual double entendre intended to draw awareness to women's rights. Nothing was confirmed, but with so many women in white and so few men, observers have speculated over the intentions of Tiffany's dressage and whether her choice was intentional. Tiffany's Thanksgiving Dress this isn't Tiffany's only fashion mistake. As the first family rang in Thanksgiving in 2017, Tiffany was criticized for her choice of dress. Back in 2017, a then 24-year-old Tiffany Trump attended the annual pardoning of a Thanksgiving turkey, sporting a red and pink tweed coat, which covered her dress completely, paired with black pumps. Her coat and her dress were criticized as being too short, and to others who noted that November can be quite chilly. Ivanka, in contrast, was praised for being more smartly dressed and befitting of the White House's conservative dress code. Presidential children are always expected to dress formally for any official occasion and prepare for the scrutiny of the public. Although Tiffany was on her best behavior and was photographed interacting warmly with her sister Ivanka, brother-in-law Jared, and niece Arabella, her short dress had conservative Trump fans responding coldly. No masks. This is not a presidential rule, but certainly a jurisdictional rule due to the presence of an ongoing pandemic. Just two days before Donald and Melania Trump tested positive for the virus, the Trump family broke the rules of the presidential debate venue and did not wear masks during the debate. Taking place in Cleveland, Ohio, the presidential debate had employed the typical virus safety precautions, including setting seats six feet apart, adhering to social distancing protocols, required masks, tested attendees, and had Trump and Biden begin the debate without a traditional handshake. The family did enter the venue wearing masks, but quickly removed them once they were seated, despite being required to keep their masks on. Her father disapproves of her habits. Although a source close to the White House told Post that Tiffany's casual drinking is not disqualifying or anything serious to her father, who dislikes drinkers, it is an uncomfortable topic for Donald Trump, who said in 2017 that he does not drink. Tiffany, who has been known to enjoy a casual drink at her university's pub or during a party, does not share her father's distaste for alcohol. She didn't spend New Year's Eve with her family. Unlike the rest of her family, Tiffany did not attend all of the holiday festivities of the White House. After spending her holiday at the Winter White House with the rest of the Trump family, Tiffany hopped on a plane to NYC to attend a less conservative party hosted by Cooper Hefner. Tiffany was featured in multiple photos with friends and was spotted celebrating with actress Scarlett Byrne. The rest of the presidential family rang in the New Year 
year with an NYE gala at the Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort. There are no strict rules saying every member of the first family must attend every Christmas festivity, but they are expected to attend major events like the lighting of the White House Christmas tree and a first family snowball fight, a tradition that began with President Andrew Jackson. Which first family rules surprised you the most? Are there any other surprising rules that we may have missed? Let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for new content daily, and thanks for stopping by The Taco. Bye for now.